The annual World Shore is St. Patrick's Day Parade has been taking place in downtown Bemidji for more than a decade. Lakeland News reporter Malak Katab shares with us this year's festivities. I think we set a record this year, Mitch. Adults and kids gathered on the streets of downtown Bemidji to observe an annual St. Patrick's Day tradition. And what are you guys doing here today? The Leprechaun, the Leprechaun Day Parade. The St. Patrick's Day festivities featured live music, dancing, and a really short parade that lasted about 90 seconds. The parade is a tradition that uh, Mitch Radio started a few years ago almost as a just a fun little thing to do and it's grown to the point now we block off the streets, we have events, floats, depends on the year. So it's grown a, a large amount in a few years and I hope to continue growing it. The premise of the parade is that it starts from one Irish pub and ends at the other pub across the street, totaling exactly 78 steps. And each year, the two pubs alternate on the starting point. Uh, the reason it's a world shortest parade is because uh, here in downtown Bemidji, we're in the unique position of having the first, second, and only two Irish pubs in Bemidji, um, almost directly across the street from each other. This year, the parade started here at Bridget's Pub and then ended right over there at Kegan Cork. In previous years, back in the 80s and 70s, there was a St. Patrick's Day parade that went from here down to Union Station. So we wanted to bring back the St. Pat Patrick's Day Parade and we thought since we were so close together, right, 78 steps, that we would come up with the world's shortest St. Patrick's Day Parade. And when I asked Radio the question about the accuracy of the name of the parade, he tells me... Absolutely by me. Reporting in Bemidji, Malak Katab, Lakeland News. Organizers say the parade will start at Keg and Cork next year. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.